So we made it to my normal spot and I can already see that somebody left a cup. Rude people. So I'll have to take that out with me. Anyway, yeah. But look at that. The battery's about ready to die. Look at that potato. That's growing well. Hey. Look there. Oh, you can actually see a potato coming up. Look. <laughs> uh, okay. We are going to dig these potatoes up. Oh, heavens. Look at off this way well oh there's a potato <laughs> look at that little dinky thing there's another potato right there and then there's a third potato right there and here's what it grew off of So I'm going to dig around here a little bit and get these out of the way here. I'm going to dig through here just a bit. Now I buried another couple around here, but they didn't really grow, so I'm not going to worry about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in the ground, see if maybe it will produce some more, I don't know. really late but it's possible let me get some water bury that back up and this is very sandy ground but it still produced three potatoes So that's fantastic. I just took a an old scrap potato uh, many months too late and I stuck it in the ground out here in the sandy ground. I did not tend to it at all. I watered it a couple times but I did not come out here and water it on a regular basis. I didn't tend to it in any way shape or form. Put it in the ground and pretty much left it. Now granted these things are Look at that one. That one's about the size of my finger now. This one's a little bit bigger. It's about the size of a pebble. It actually looks like a pebble. And then this one here is the biggest one. And I would say that's about the size of the first joint of my finger here. But it worked. Oh, I dropped it. We don't want to do that. There we go. Look at that. Now I'm not saying that this would sustain my life. But like I said, it was really late. I'm going to wash these potatoes up and we're going to eat them right here. There we go. So, uh, like I said, uh, it was very, very late in the season. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked and surprised that they grew in the first place. But let's take this smallest one. <laughs> Wild homegrown potatoes. Mmm, that one kind of tasted like dirt. 
Mmm, look at that. Fantastic. Mmm. <laughs> There we go. I just pulled those right out of the ground. Wash them up a little bit. There they go. They do have a different taste than potatoes that you buy from a store. I'm telling you they do. Uh, they don't taste, they taste like a potato, but it just has a different taste to it. It could be the fact that it was grown in sand because this is really kind of sandy ground. Uh, it could be the fact that I don't know. It just I planted that uh, that throwaway potato out here in the ground a couple months ago, and uh, there we go. So a fun ending to the day. Well, wait a second. It's not the ending. We have to go back and get that uh, get that trap, don't we? Well, let's get back and do that. So we're up here on a small trail. I'm gonna leave the bike here and walk down. Because I'm not going to keep what, what we catch today. Uh, but it is a good indicator of what I could get. If I came down here. Now the water is really low. Compared to how I normally see it. For this area. But. That's how it works right. So here we are. So we're going to pull this up. And we're going to see what we have in there. And the first thing I want to do is get this toggle off of here now there was no knots I didn't use any knots on this whatsoever it's just wraps there we go now oh. oh now we have two little bluegills and that big crawdad look at that so let's pull those out real quick and we'll take a look. Hey, look, one of them's inside the. Look! Mackerel! So, this is a super small little fish here. Right here, look at that. Now, of course he's going back but I'm telling you in a real life situation if uh, if it was me or this little critter here uh, I would eat this guy okay and he's from my finger to here he's very small but every little bit counts but not today he goes back in now let's get this next one next little gill doesn't want to open his mouth there we go and he's about the same size yeah he's about the same size again super super small little critter fantastic looking look how beautiful he is that's just that's just beautiful anyway again he's going back there we go now, where did that crawdad go there we are Now we look at this little guy. Look at this. Again, his tail isn't huge, but it would uh, it would afford me a tasty little snack if necessary. And I'm telling you, again, in a real life situation, this little guy would be going into a pot. But because it's not a real life situation, he's going to go back into the water. Look at that fantastic looking all right he's going back and back in he goes all right so I'm back up here with the bike trash some of the stuff I found make sure I grab this don't want to leave that out in the creek or nothing so this is all gonna go in a dumpster up in the park area when I get up there so I'm gonna 
gonna fold this wet nasty thing up gonna redo my bike so that I get uh, get that on the bottom and I'll get right back with you guys and there we have it trash the rest of my gear decently packed up there now if uh, I was out here surviving on what I caught and, and gathered uh, that wouldn't be the greatest thing ever two small uh, sunfish and a crawdad but it's better than nothing plus that was just an hour or so uh, just threw it in there and left it alone so that's not too bad I don't think uh, compared to the piece of bread and the uh, very little to nothing left in that package that I had in there now I could uh, in in that situation I could eat what's in the uh, the macro package and use just the package itself I'm sure the smell alone would draw in some fish now uh, there was one bluegill and the crawdad in there before I even put that package in there so uh, definitely didn't have anything to do with those two whether it had anything to do with that last bluegill or not who knows who really cares the point is is that I had two bluegills and a crawdad that I could have eaten and it took me just a mere minute or so to throw it in there and just leave it and go off and do something else well there was uh, three hours out of my day and I had a great time I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, I do say that uh, of course I don't live that way 24 7 365 but if I did those three potatoes those two fish and that one crawdad if that's all that I would have had today I may not have been a happy camper, but I would have done just fine, I think, uh, cooking those up, uh, just scaling the fish, cleaning out the small amount of uh, guts and stuff that would be in it, and just scraping off the, uh, the scales, tossing those uh, fully into a, a pot, along with the crawdad and those three potatoes. Again, I'm not saying that's a lot of food, but if that's all I had for the whole day, uh, I would survive until tomorrow when I hopefully could do at least that if not more again so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, again thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard <laughs>